So I decided to build a compass to make circles and divide distances with. First up the pen holder and the rubber pointer, the legs if you may. And I made two pen holders so you can alter between two types of pens. For material I wanted something dark and substantial so I decided to go with Ipe, also known as Brazilian Walnut. I used the lathe and made curvy shape and a tenon on the end. This basic step I repeated three times, slightly varying up the shapes. Then I drilled a hole in another piece of EPA and made sure that my tenon fit, and it fit perfectly, measuring 5 eighths of an inch. I also drilled a 7 16 inch hole on the end of the pen holder to fit a permanent marker. However, the size you use here depends on what sized pen you're using. Next up, the connecting pieces. I cut these out on the bandsaw. I gave them a rough shape, then used a rasp to soften up the edges, and I re the part of them that connect together. Once I had my two pieces, I drilled a hole through both and sanded them a lot to soften up the shapes and making them more round. On the top of the compass, I made a round ball to hold on to when you use it. First, I drilled a hole on the top of the holder, measuring quarter of an inch. Secondly, I made a tenon on the lathe, and the uh, tenon fit very nicely on top of the holder. And then I proceeded to make a round ball or knob connected to that. To tighten and loosen the compass, I decided to make a knob. I made a circle, divided the lines using angle bisecting, and cut it out on the bandsaw. Next, I chiseled out a place for the head of the screw inside the knob and uh, then I epoxied it in. I also chiseled out a hole in the holder where the round knob top is going to fit a nut in there and I epoxied that in as well. Last but not least, I epoxied in the round ball top to the holder as well. Next up we have the rubber tip. To give the pointer a bit more grip I cut out a piece of an eraser with a copper piping and hot glued it on. And to protect the wood we need some type of finish. I went with shellac which darkens the wood nicely and dries quickly. Now when I had all my pieces all that was left to do was to assemble. I also cut up some shipping material plastic to insert in between the knob and the other pieces for a little bit more friction. And there you have it. An oversized compass to make circles and divide lines with. This video was brought to you by Homerite. Thanks for watching.